Taylor's room, you really get a sense of what he likes. He loves pirate ships, and some he's made with his own hands, and I just wanted to make sure that I can bring that stuff back into his room, really kind of celebrate the stuff that he loves already. So I get into Aaron's room, and, and all I'm seeing is rodeo stuff from, you know, horseshoes to ropes to cowboy hats. So this kid loves rodeos, and, you know, if, if that's what Aaron wants, well, then that's what he's going to get this week. Kristen's a young girl getting ready to go to college, so this room is going to be sophisticated and elegant. It's going to be a really cool, nice art deco room. That's about it. Can you believe this? I mean, not only are we giving Kristen the biggest walk-in closet, but we're filling it up with all sorts of brand new clothes. What girl would not like this? Ladies, you tell me. No. <laughs> When you have a child with special needs, there are special things that go along with that. Okay, so besides this really cool track that's going in here, the other thing that we're putting in here is a sauna. The sauna that we've put into Aaron's room, this is infrared and non-conductive, which means that you don't really feel heat coming at you. And they found that this has really helped people with cerebral palsy. You know, their nerves are just telling them to flex, 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 and this could kind of relax that. A sauna with radiant infrared heat. That's extreme technology. You yeah. like? Yeah. For Taylor's pirate room, I wanted to give Taylor a huge skull. Something that was scary and creepy and big. I'm giving him a root canal right now. <laughs> I can't exactly show you everything I'm doing, but these are going to turn into a pretty sweet little bed that I'm working on for the master bedroom. I took on Michelle and Bill's master bedroom, and the reason I did that is because of the needs of Aaron and because of the needs of the family. Okay. They've actually been separated. They have not been in the same bedroom or even the same bed for the last 14 years. So we'll take care of Aaron, but we'll take care of Michelle and Bill as well. So the sun's going down at the end of day three, and you can see we've got the windows coming in. We're in really great shape, and this is awesome. The house is turning out beautifully. will take us into the tub. We come on back. Aaron wants to take a shower today, so we just pull our little things here, change our track over, and right in the shower. That's extreme technology. So, John, yeah. this is where they play. This is the baseball field. Uh -huh. Johnny and I actually uh, rode down to the field to, to meet some of the players, to check out the field, and see if, well, if there's anything maybe we could do to kind of kind of help out the Dreamcatcher's field. Hello, Minot! <laughs> Have a good one, 
everybody on the Dreamcatchers, come on in. It's so awesome that Dreamcatchers exists because you look around these kids who's got really, really tough challenges, and they're happy, and they're smiling because they get to participate in something. You must be Annette, right? I am. You're I Michelle's am. sister. I am Michelle's sister. So you, kind of, you help her out with Dreamcatchers quite a as bit. As much as I can. Awesome. Yeah. Well, okay. here's the cool thing, okay? okay. So, Dreamcatchers, we're going to help you out this week and make this field even better than it is. Sound good? <laughs> Johnny was really touched, man. I was like, Johnny, I'm handing it over to you. Why don't you hang out with the kids, see what we can do to fix this thing up. Cool thing is, you know, maybe we can do a little more than just build a house this week. This is my first project. I'm really excited about it. I get to give the Dreamcatchers field a brand new facelift. Most of the players are in wheelchairs. Mm -hmm. And they really can't... This, these bleachers are not accessible to they them. They can't. They have no place to sit yeah. besides their chair. But it'd be nice to have, you know, some section that is handicapped accessible for our players. And there's usually players standing in front of you. So it would be nice if we had a place yeah. that might be elevated a little bit for them. I really want an observation deck that is ADA approved, that it's handicap accessible, that all the players can go and just watch their, you know, watch their players. Let's do it. Okay, all right. Go. I spent a lot of time this week primarily at the ballpark, me and all my tremendous, fantastic volunteers. The end of the day is nearing, and look how far we've gotten. Our bleachers are almost done. All the fencing is painted. I can't wait to see the dream catchers, all the players' reactions when they see their new ballpark. These guys are getting farther and farther ahead, so I gotta get to work.